Welcome back, 8th grade. So we're going to go into um, 2.4, which is our equations with variables on both sides. So what I hinted at in the last video, when we have variables or like terms showing up on both sides of the equal sign. So now what was two questions becomes three questions. So let's go over those three questions real quick. Question number one. Do I need to distribute? Do I need to distribute? That's question number one. If it's yes, distribute, then go to question two. If it's a no, then go to question two. And question two is, do I have same side like terms? Do I have same side like terms. If yes, combine them and move on. If no, then move on to question three. And question three is, do I have variables on both sides? Okay, those are our three questions. If you were watching this video at school, I highly suggest pausing the video and asking for the flow chart for these three questions. If you're at home, then when you, by the way, kudos to watching these at home. Uh, but if you're at home, then when you get to class, ask for the flow chart. I will make sure that all teachers have this, or all math teachers have this flow chart that have these questions and tell you what to do. So asking these questions ourselves, do we need to distribute? We don't have parentheses, so we're not needing to distribute. Do I have same side like terms? So I'm going to draw my little barrier here. All right. I don't, when I look at the left, there's no common or uh, there are no like terms over here. And if I look to the right, there's no like terms over here. Now, question three. Do I have variables on both sides? And the answer to that is yes. It's a resounding yes. Now, this is where it's important because it is on this side. I can't just say, okay, five plus two. Nope. To move it to the other side of the equal sign, I've got to zero it out here and move it equally. So what I'm going to do, if we're doing the lovely, you know, what, what did I do with each step? Writing our proof. I'm going to subtract. And as I've told others, like this is the this is a border, right? And I am trying to say I'm trying to go capture the flag. And so I've got to sneak across that border. And so I'm going to disguise myself. And so where it was a positive 2, I'm now going to make it a negative 2. And so now I have 5x minus 2, which is 3x plus 2 equals 14. And so I did a subtraction property of equality. What that means is we will most likely have either two S, could have two SPOEs or two APOEs or an SPOE and an APOE when we're solving these equations. Just, just to beware, all right? Because technically these constants, this two and this 14, those are like terms. And so I'm going to move them, right? Now, the one thing I did not say, I automatically move the two. Because in my mind, I take the smallest number and I move it. Now, for some of my students, they just do better remembering to move letters left. See that alliteration there? Letters left. Um, but the way Mrs. Cartwright works is I take the smallest number. And that includes with negatives. Right? Like, including the negative. If it was a negative, I'm treating it as a negative number. I'm going to move the smallest number when it comes to variables. Why? Because I want to try to keep my, my variable positive. If at all possible, I want to try to keep it positive. So that's why I chose the two over moving the five. If you move the five over, you're going to get the same answer. You're just mo going to move your 14 as opposed to me moving my two here. Okay. So again, now I want to get X by itself. It's a two-step equation. So to zero out the two, I'm going to subtract two. 
So see here, we have that subtraction property of equality happening again. And so I have 3x equals 12. And then I'm going to divide, right? Because I've got multiplication going on. And if you haven't heard this yet, this is how I help students remember that this is multiplication. Because I realize I didn't say it in any of the other videos. And this 3 and this x are touching. And Mrs. Curry refers to that as kissing. And then to help you remember that that's multiplication, kissing leads to multiplication. So, yes, giggle away all you want, but it's going to help you, it's going to help it stick. So, this is multiplying, so that means I need to divide in order to get x by itself. And so, 12 divided by 3 is 4. And so, our final step was that division property of equality. And again, if I'm not sure if this is the correct answer, then I plug it in and I get 5 times 4 is 20 plus 2 is 22. And 2 times 4 is 8 plus 14 is 22. So I know that I got the correct answer. Notice I didn't have to write it out. All I did, and I could have done that in a calculator, 5 times 4 plus 2, gotten 22. 2 times 4 plus 14, ah, uh, 22. And that, simple as that, you've got it checked. All right? Moving on. All right, example 2. Let me turn my page over here. We ask ourselves those three questions, right? So first off, I know this is my given. First question, do I need to distribute? And the answer for that is yes. So we're going to distribute. Actually, we've got to distribute twice. We've got to distribute the 2, and then we've got to distribute the 3. So now I've got 10x minus 2 equals 3x plus 33. So I use that distributive property. Right, because that's what I did. All right, from here, do I have same side like terms? And so I'm going to give myself my little border. And over here, I have one x and one constant. And over here, I have one x and one constant. So no same side like terms. So that means no combining like terms for this one. But I do have variables on both sides. So my 3x is smaller than 10x. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So I'm using subtraction property of equality here. And so that's going to give me 7x minus 2 equals 33. Now, I have no choice on this one. I need to move my set or my, my 2 because I need to get my 7 by itself. So I'm going to add 2. That's what's going to zero out the 2 on this side. So now I'm left with 7x equals 35. Right. So again, now that wasn't again. This is an APOE this time. And then they're kissing, so the opposite of uh, multiplication is to do that division property of equality. So I'm going to divide both sides by 7, and x is going to equal 5. And again, I can plug it back in up to the top, multiply it through, and see if I get the same thing on both sides. I know I am because I already checked it before I did it with you. Um, that's... That's the gist of multi-step equations with this one. It's the variables on both sides. It just means that you're going to have uh, two adding and subtracting before to both sides of the equal sign before you get to the end. That's the difference there. Um, next video, we will talk about what happens if my variables cancel out and we get some special solutions going on. So I'll see you over there, 8th grade.